Let's look at this uh, third problem quickly. I just uh, redrew the graph here. Uh, so let's just write down the relation of between y and x. So notice that y is a constant beyond, so y is a for x greater than 2a from the diagram. And then y is a, a straight line, so y is actually x minus a if x is between, in this region, let's say between a and uh, 2a, right, because when x equal to a, you get a 0, when x equal to 2a, you get a, so 45 degree line. And then y takes the value 0 when x is between minus a and uh, plus a, you can see here, and two more values. So y is x plus a when x is between minus 2a and minus a. And finally, y is minus a, minus a when x is less than minus 2a. So we can use this to draw or derive the distribution function. So for example, uh, uh, so this is, uh, you can follow a similar procedure, but we, uh, so for, so when x is less than, <coughs> and this is a, so probability of, uh, uh, probability of y equal to minus a, you can see is the same as probability of x less than or equal to minus 2a. Uh, so this is the distribution function evaluated at minus 2a from here. And in this region, so this is when y is minus a, and then y is uh, greater than minus a, and less than zero in that region is, uh, so that's this region. This is the region when y is greater than, you can see here, minus a and less than zero. So in that region, fyy, is probability of y less than or equal to y. But in this region, y is given to be uh, x plus a less than or equal to y. So this is probability of x less than or equal to y minus a, that the distribution function of x evaluated at y minus a. <coughs> and uh, Another thing we notice is the next one we notice that y takes the value 0, so probability of y equal to 0 is when x is between, from here, minus a and uh, between plus a. So this is fx of a minus fx of minus a. And then when uh, x is here, y is here. So that's y is between 0 and a. Fyy is uh, probability of y less than or equal to y, but y is given to be uh, x minus a less than or equal to y. This is probability of x less than or equal to y plus a. So that's the distribution function of x evaluated at uh, y plus a. And finally, a probability of y equal to a is probability of x greater than 2a. That's the same as 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 2a. So that's 1 minus fx of 2a. So we can use uh, the, uh, this uh, to draw the picture. So for example, if fx6 is like this, minus 2a, minus a, a, 2a, let's see. Then fyy uh, So first of all, notice that y only takes values between minus a and plus a. So it's between uh, minus a and plus a. At the minus a, so we can start from minus a, there is a impulse, so the obviously before that the distribution function is zero, then there is an impulse of value fx of minus a. 
then between minus a and 0, uh, this function behaves like y minus a. Uh, so, if you put y equal to 0, you get fx of minus a. If you put y equal to minus a, you get fx of minus 2a. So, this piece is essentially here. This piece is uh, here. So that's the that piece. But then at y equal to 0, there is a jump discontinuity. So there is a jump. So there's one jump here. This jump is fx of minus 2a. I mean, let me call this jump to be delta 1. And there is another jump here, delta 2. So this is delta 1, and this is delta 2. And between uh, 0 and a, the relation is here. So that's uh, fx of y plus a. So when y is 0, you get fx of a. And when y is uh, a, it is fx of a. So essentially, this piece uh, comes and sits uh, here between 0 and a. So that will be a piece like this. And then finally, <coughs> at uh, x equal to a, the last one, there is one more impulse. I'm going to call this delta 3. So that's going to be fx of, uh, so there will be an impulse here. And, to go, and then it's uh, beyond a. If uh, if uh, beyond a, it is going to be one because uh, everything has been mapped before that. So this is going to be f y y. And if you take the derivative of this, you can also see everything going on. So the derivative is going to be, so there will be an impulse here at minus a, and then a function, another impulse here, another function, this piece, and then an impulse. So this is delta 1, delta 2, delta 3. And you can also show this in terms of the a PDF. If this is the PDF of fxx, delta 1 is uh, this probability. This is delta 1. Because delta 1 is the distribution function evaluated up to minus 2a. That's the area under the density function up to minus 2a. And uh, so the density function of y is uh, fx of y minus a if y is between minus a and 0. And it is fx of y plus a if y is between 0 and a. And otherwise, it has got the three delta functions. So it's delta 1, delta 2, delta 3. Delta 1 is, delta 3 is when y equal to 2a, y equal to a. And this is y equal to 0, y equal to minus a. Now, delta 2 is uh, fxa minus fxa. So that's going to be. This is delta 2 because this you can also write it as the area under the density function of from minus a to a. Uh, this is the area under the density function up to 2a. And similarly, the last one is the area of the density function from uh, 2a to infinity.
So this is going to be delta 3. And uh, so everything is accounted for. This piece comes and sits here. So this is this piece. And uh, this piece is uh, here. Uh, so this is accounted through this one. This piece is accounted here. This area is accounted through delta 2, this impulse. This is accounted, the curve is accounted here. And then the another impulse, uh, delta 3, here. Thank you.